We're just very different. My wife and I were very different. We come from different backgrounds. Like I came from a normal family, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she she just came from like a hippy dippy family, you know. Her her dad's an actual hippie. Her mom's a holistic nurse, and I just if. First of all, if you don't know what holistic medicine is, it's basically like, remember when you were little and you'd play house, you know? And you'd, like, you'd pretend you had to go to the doctor, but you're a kid, so you don't have medical equipment, so you just kind of use sticks and rocks and stuff? You know, that's holistic medicine. That's... Here's, here's a better example. When I was single, before I met my wife, I used to use Irish Spring, okay? It's good soap, I like it. That was my soap. And then I met my wife, we got married, we move in together. She sees my soap in the shower one day, and she freaks out, she's like, whoa, 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 what, what is this? Come here, what is this? I was like, are you kidding me? That, that has aluminum in it, that's terrible. That has aluminum in it. I'm like, I'm like uh, I, I, I didn't see any. <laughs> She's like, you cannot use that. You can't use that. Here, you got to use this weird misshapen oatmeal rock I bought from a homeless person at the farmer's market. <laughs> this is what your body needs. It's the good stuff. All right, whatever. Hey, I'm a married guy. I don't want to make waves. I know how it goes, right? So I'm using her soap, okay? <laughs> Uh, first of all, it hurts because there's pebbles in it. I don't know who's running quality control at the Hippy Dippy Soap Factory, but I think they're asleep at the wheels. There's a lot of junk going down that line. No one's picking out. I'm using her soap one day. I'm washing myself. I cut my leg. I literally cut my leg. I look down. There's a stick in the soap. You ever cut yourself soaping, anyone? It's very frustrating. I never found a stick in my Irish Spring, okay? But that's kind of a big selling point when I, when I buy soap. No sticks. Mm. Look at that one. I just don't get this hippy-dippy movement we're all moving towards. Or, you know, oh, you shouldn't, you don't, you shouldn't wash yourself with anything and, unless you found it on the ground in the woods. That's how you know it's good soap. I used to go to Target, and I'd buy a year supply of Irish Spring, and it would cost me, I think, what? I don't know, $11? <laughs> Comes in a box, made in a factory, says soap on the side somewhere, so you know what you're buying. And meanwhile, my wife's buying soap from gypsies, <laughs> made out of oatmeal and sticks, right? The packaging is rope. Good quality control right there. <laughs> the label is just a ripped off piece of scratch paper someone hand wrote, nature's chunk of crap. $18. Okay. <laughs> I love my wife, I do. I promise I do, I, I love her so much, it's just, I haven't had white bread in seven years. <laughs> What is wrong with white bread? Is there something wrong with white? I didn't. Even, she acts like I'm making sandwiches out of Skittles. It's bread. You know, we have in our house we have that brown whole grain oat wheat crab with peanuts and acorns sticking out the side of it. You know what I'm talking about? Where you cut it in half and it looks like it has fleas in it. Ugh. She'll be like, "Oh, that's flaxseed. Your body needs that." Yeah. Okay, well, I think one of them just moved, so I'm not chancing it. <laughs> Enjoy your loaf of trail mix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have cereal, I guess. <laughs> so fresh, I can't even do that. I can't even have cereal at my own house because I'll go to the fridge, I'll open it up, and there's more hippy dippy crap in there. <laughs> Can someone please tell me what exactly is cage-free almond milk? <laughs> is that even? A th I mean, maybe it's not cage-free. I don't know, but it might as well. It's all hippie propaganda. <laughs> That's what it is. I get frustrated because, you know, what, what, what's the cliche? That, like most married guys, they gotta sneak out of their house to, to eat donuts, right? Yeah. I gotta sneak out of my house to drink 2%. <laughs>
I'm like hiding in the car in the garage. Oh yeah, <laughs> these cows were not treated humanely. <laughs> Haven't had candy in a long time. <laughs> it comes from a good place, okay? But I really like candy. <laughs> Last time I had candy, it was a, it was a bag of M&Ms and they were so good. <laughs> so I finished the M&Ms and then I had to do so, I had to hide the wrapper because I didn't want to get in trouble, you know? <laughs> so I went in the kitchen and I, I reached into the garbage can. I pulled out like an old carton of you know, coconut milk or some other hippy dippy weird stuff. <laughs> And I took the I took the, the M and M wrapper and I put it in the bottom of the carton, and I crunched it. I put it in the garbage can and I stomped it down. And then I went and I had to go do a show that night, so I did that. And then I came back really late at night. I creep into the house and uh, I'm walking past my desk, and on my desk was the M and M wrapper <laughs> with a little post-it note that said, "I want you to be around to watch our kids grow up." It's, it's M&M's. It's M&M's. She's acting like she found a crack needle or something. That is some creepy psycho stuff. How did she find it? So you know what I do now? Here's what I do now if I want to have candy and I am too lazy to walk to the gas station to throw the wrapper away. <laughs> after, I, after I'm done with the candy, I just put the wrapper, I just keep them in my pocket. I just accumulate them my pocket. And then when my son goes to the bathroom in his diaper, and I'm changing his diaper, <laughs> right before I seal up the old one, and I check the coast, and I just empty my pockets into the diaper. I seal it up real quick and toss it in the diaper, Genie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>